Good morning everyone and welcome to the video. I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you so much to you all. You were such legends over the weekend. Uh, basically Soph tweeted out saying that she wasn't feeling very well and she wasn't sure whether uh, she should push through and try and get a video out on Saturday. You guys all told her to take it off or to like basically not put out a video and like focus on recovering and looking after herself, putting herself first. She now feels so much better so thank you for that and uh, I, <laughs> I cannot tell you how rarely Soph actually gets ill and she was really ill I'm pretty sure it was a an ear infection which is really nasty but I remember one time um, that she she thought she had a cold and she dropped something outside my house in Scotland and it was snowing she was literally like on her hands and knees looking for this thing in the snow in her pajamas turns out she didn't have a cold she had swine flu which if you don't know what that is look it up it is absolutely brutal and was leaving big dudes like bed bound for days and she was just like yeah you know like rooting around the snow as you do so um basically what i'm trying to say is she's a badass so if she was ill it must have been really bad because she really genuinely does not get like ill enough to want to not do stuff so basically thank you so much because now she feels better and uh, that makes me really happy so you join me on a top secret mission Soph's grandparents are down and it is their 35th wedding anniversary today so I have told them that I'm leaving to go and see a friend I've had to leave early they're actually going for breakfast um, but what they don't know is I'm going as well and I'm running ahead to get some flowers um, and to get a present basically we've had we've known what we're gonna do for the present for ages but we just haven't had the time or been able to actually like execute it and get it done so we took this really funny and really cute photo on a snapchat filter of them I think it was last year on their wedding anniversary so I'm gonna go and get that printed out um, hopefully I really hope I've got time to do that I'm meeting them in about an hour and a half uh, and we're going to the Ivy in Covent Garden so it's like not the original Ivy restaurant but another Ivy so I'm really looking forward to it I've never been there before and uh, yeah I'm just hoping that I can get everything done on time get there stress-free um, so yeah come with me and let's see if we can hopefully get this done also as I'm sure you know I've never been a huge fan of the sideburns anyway but whenever I wear something smart I really hate it because I feel like I'm going to a wedding in the 70s so we're gonna roll with it <laughs> but um yeah I'm looking forward to a time where this can all go so I got to the florist we pre-ordered a massive bunch of roses with like other little bits in it and what we got was not that at all I mean it's got a couple of roses in it but that basically we ordered a bunch of roses uh, and it's really it's just a mixed a mixed bouquet so I mean it looks nice and uh, and I really hope she likes it. I'm sure she will but just a bit frustrating and then the, the lady was like insistent that that's not what Sophie ordered but I was there and that's exactly what she ordered so <sighs> Not a great start, but we do have a lovely bunch of flowers, which I hope Soph's grandma will really like anyway. Success! So, I was actually terrified walking along the street towards the print shop to get the photo printed because just as I was walking along, all of a sudden I thought that it wasn't open till 10 a.m. and it's only like quarter past nine, or it was then. Uh, but luckily it was open at nine. I don't know why I thought that, but, uh, but yeah, I had a bit of a minor panic attack. However, it was fine, I got it all done. The guy in there was actually really helpful uh, and I managed to get it done pretty quickly because I, I also then thought, even if I got there and it was open, that I wasn't gonna make it here on time. But I had plenty of time and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the, the, the photo and the frame and everything. So uh, let me show it to you now. So this is it, this is Soph's lovely grandparents and we actually took this exactly one year ago on their anniversary. So that's why we thought it was such a special picture. Plus, we love the Snapchat filter and I think they loved it as well. So I'm just gonna wrap this up, wait for Soph and her family to arrive. I, uh, I'm not sure if I said before, but they think I'm not coming to breakfast. So I'm gonna surprise them. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lovely morning. I, I can't
can't wait for them to arrive. I'm really excited. What you want, Dave? Uh, ham and cheese omelette with rocket tomato, some granaritos. And a Coke. And a Coke. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> I need caffeine, apparently. <laughs> Do you like your flowers, Grandma? You they are beautiful. Thank you to my lovely grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> You're it's welcome. Be an internet sensation. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a success. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma loved her flowers. They were like as big as like, her, her whole body. <laughs> yeah. Her torso. And the what's it called? The Ivy Market Grill. Yeah. It was so nice for breakfast. I had an omelette, as you saw, and it was really nice. Like yeah. just a really good, simple kind of like. Uh, mine was lovely, but I think I should have had the pancakes. But I was a bit nervous because it had strawberry sauce. Yeah. Right. But maybe next time we'll do the pancakes. Yeah, I don't, I don't like blackberries and stuff and it had that on it, so that's yeah. why. Like, can I have pancakes just plain? Yes. <laughs> With bacon. With bacon. <laughs> the American style. <laughs> so we're going to go home. Should we watch some bake off? Yeah. I need to just like... Rest. Chill a bit. <laughs> so we're now home. We've decided to get into bed. Well, we're not in it, we're on it. <laughs> and we're watching some bake off and looking at flats. Just having a chilled Monday. <laughs> Good times. Good times. So this is the perfect way to make Zoe feel better. Give her a cup of tea, favourite teddy bear, some Rice Krispie squares, you even got me some and some trash. gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I like an old lady. We These love ones. a scratch These card though. We've not done scratch cards in so no, long. No, we used to do them like to the point where there was a problem, but we haven't done them for a long time, so we thought I thought we would just get a little chance to do them. Look, Dave's got Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Or as I like to call him, Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Like Batman. Oh, okay. Or Spider-Man. So weird. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I need to find a diamond. win. No diamond. Uh. Sad times. Extra bonus. Find a 10 to win 10 pounds. Oh, I've got a 12. Sad times. Does that mean you get 12 pounds then? No. Find a 5 to win 5 pounds. Oh, I've got one. <laughs> this is so depressing. Boo. Okay. Right. 250,000 this time. Here we go. Game two. Match three to win. <laughs> No. Nothing. Nothing. What a waste of two pounds. No, because it was fun. I didn't have fun. Uh, okay. So with this one, you scratch off these to find out what the winning numbers are. Mm -hmm. And then obviously... I this guess. one's so cute. Yeah, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. So my lucky numbers are 23 and 11. <laughs> Which is actually really funny because those are two buses that I can get. <laughs> Dave, can you just do it and stop uh, talking about buses? Match the winning numbers to any of your numbers to win that prize. Of course he does one at a time. I don't. <laughs> any time today. Any time. Dave, you don't need to do all the edges. You can see the numbers. Can you look? No. I got 12 and I needed 11 and I got 22 and I needed 23. <sighs> How'd you feel? Deflated. <laughs> but I've still got you, so everything's good. Yeah. I'm gonna put Bake Off back on now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So it is a bit later on and Sophie's just coming from work. She's very hungry and I'm about to make her a snack. 
she bought some crumpets um, and so I'm just about to make them for her but I just noticed on the label these better be really good crumpets because they talk a massive game. Six ultimate crumpets like really think about that though the ultimate crumpet would have to be the best crumpet in the world I just I mean MS Food is great, but I find it hard to believe that these crumpets are the best in the whole world. So, I mean, I'm not actually going to have any, but we can speak to Sophie and she can verify whether that is in fact a true or false claim. It probably looks like no time has passed, but I'm now home. I've been at work. Dave's made me crumpets. The ultimate crumpets. Ultimate? Yeah, they're called ultimate crumpets. I want to see if that's... Uh... A true statement or not, so please tell me. Okay. This is a very difficult job for me. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's so much honey in them. Too much? No. Borderline. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying to me? I, to be honest. You're like a pea head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop pretending to be angry and just come back. I'm not. I'm just no. being more like a peahead. <laughs> like Bye. further away peahead. Um, yeah, sorry, I, I forget how small crumpets are. So I just like drizzle a bit. And they just like soak up. Yeah. Like a sponge. I'm so sorry. It's okay. They're really nice. Are they? Mm. Good. Yes. Tea's there. What cup am I on? Disney World! Disney Parks tonight! Oh, it's a bit dirty on the side. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> it's the Disney Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You look so good. Thanks. Is that sarcasm? My sense. No, you're more like a sprout head now, <laughs> or a <Yes>. jacket potato. <laughs> With weird sideburns. Like the roots of the potato <laughs> when you leave them in the cupboard. <laughs> You mean eyes <laughs> on the potatoes when you leave them in the cupboard? No roots. No, they're, they're called eyes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Thank you for educating me. You're welcome. That's a nice cup of tea. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to say thank you to everybody that sent me tweets to get better. And I know in terms of like the vlogs, if you don't follow us, on Twitter you wouldn't know like how ill I was feeling um, but I just really needed a day off I just couldn't even I didn't even have a sense of humor <laughs> like it wouldn't have been fun for anybody it's just so unlike you it's so hard to see you like that and actually I think that had you recorded I think it not would have upset people but like I don't think they would have wanted to see like it's hard it's hard for me to like see you not well, so I think it would be hard for other people as well. It's not just, nice to see anyone unwell. No, but I just mean like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Because everyone's so caring and lovely. I know. I feel like it would be hard for them because they'd want to help you get better. That's and true. The same, and they can't, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'll shut up now. We love you. We love you so much. No, I'm talking to you. Uh -huh. We love you. That was really sweet. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go to sleep. Um, this is the first time we've been in this bed together for two nights. I know. Because the first night, I was so scared of giving my ear infection to Dave that I slept on the couch. That was two nights ago. And then last night, we slept, or I slept on the couch and Dave slept on the blow-up bed because uh, my grandparents were here. Um, and then tomorrow, my mum... And my mum's partner Terry are coming to see the show. I'm going out for lunch. So exciting. So we'll film tomorrow, which will be so nice to see them. My mum's got lots of wedding y ideas and things happening. Cheshire wedding might be back on the cards. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna not not no, I I was gonna say I'm not gonna speak about the wedding anymore. I feel like I'm gonna stop. Telling everything until we yeah. actually have a plan. 
Welcome to our brains, by the way. Yeah. This is kind of what happens on a daily basis. Um, <laughs> I'm like, Dave, we're getting married in Scotland. Dave, we're getting married in Ireland. Dave, yeah. we're getting married in Florida. Dave, we're getting... <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, great. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> just tell me what country yeah. it's in. <laughs> Give me an actual, you know, a couple of weeks before. I'll just turn up. I'll be fine. <laughs> we're literally just chasing venues because of the budget. Like... Yeah, if you I want... think the one that, personally, the one that we've seen that we're thinking about now that I think you're going to go and have a look at is genuinely, when I looked at it, was one of the ones I went... This is a bad angle, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. But it was one of the it's it's the one that I most went, oh my god, I love that, that's like... Yeah. Really nice. See. So, we'll fingers see. crossed. We'll see, just... just... Bear with us. And also, We're all over the place. one thing as well is that it was sort of a recommendation from your family yeah. who have really good taste and really high standards. So I'm sort of thinking it's going to be good that <laughs> higher way. Higher than ours. Probably higher than <laughs> ours. <laughs> but I think it, I think it'll be I think it'll be a winner. Yeah. I've got a feeling about it. Got a good feeling. So. I got a feeling. Ooh that this one's going to be a good one. Are you done? <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> good night. We will see you this. Time. We love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> this mess. <laughs> Woohoo! One for the road. <laughs> this one's going to be a good one. Good night. <laughs>